Okay guys, the moment we have been waiting for. The unveiling of the first purchase I've made. I keep thinking about this online as a dress, like as clothing. This is kind of big, it is 2021. And I went with Thread Up. All right, so it's because they have one of my favorite new brands. Open, open here. Oh, and it comes with directions, an added benefit. Open here, use the seal strips to make a return. For more instruction, go to threadup.com for returns. Great. I'm glad I read this because I went and I grabbed these. Get ready for endless, where'd you get that? Oh. Very nice. Tissue paper. Gold digging since 2009. I do feel like I can do that. So this is, this this dress was like, a, I think they, they described it as like practically new or something like that. And then it says thread up hi there. Thank you for choosing and using blah, blah, blah. World cleaner, greener place for all of us. Great. Okay, so I'll read that later. Look at the color. Oh, I think I love it. Oh my God, you guys. I'm gonna have to model it for you. This can make all the difference with the day. I'm gonna try putting it on. Well guys, it's a no, because see how this falls? This isn't gonna work. You can see how excited, you can see why I got excited conceptually at this. I can't wear this. It doesn't look very new. It's made out of great material. Sweet, pop, pop, jazz hands. It's like jazz hands. Unfortunately, it's going back. That's okay, I tried. Just to keep you posted, I just went on to the website and it says I have no items eligible for return at this time. It's probably because I got a 30% discount code on this thing. Somebody may be getting this as a gift. One of my friends might look great. Oh, it might look really great on my tall, my tall model looking friend. No names needed. So I've decided that I'm gonna wear it as a beach jumper because apparently I got 30% off on it and now I can't return it. I'm not gonna cry. It's, it's not worth crying over. I'm still gonna go to Kirby's Plaza at some point, but not with that $35. This will have to be, oh, you know what? I'll wear my black swimsuit under it. It'll be fine. I still love the fabric. The fabric is great. And as you can see, I'm still wearing my dress. We've gone from it failing the perfection test and possibly wanting and actually wanting to send it back to progress. I kind of love it. Is it perfect? Is it absolutely flattering? Depends on who you ask. Do I love it? How does it feel on me? I absolutely love the color. I love the feeling of it. So we're going with it. I'm gonna go, I'm gonna go float in the pool. Making YouTube videos is actually much harder than I thought it would be. The easy part is the vlogging. I vlog a lot. And initially, I thought that the vlogging, that because it was so easy and fun, was just going to carry me through the hard parts and it would still be pretty easy because I love doing this and it's fill, filled with joy. And when something is filled with joy, it means it's easy, right? It's easy, right? Well, we know it's coming. That's not necessarily true. And luckily, the lesson that I'm learning is it's uncomfortable to learn something new. 
And even if it's filled with joy, even if I love doing it, I am still being asked. I'm still being, I'm, it is still requiring courage. And, you know, I'm having to find ways to work through the uncomfortable feelings that are coming up. Those feelings are, are like being afraid, being afraid of being vulnerable. I mean, anything that you want to put under the umbrella of fear is coming up through there. Uh, so I thought it would be, you know, interesting to, to share what helps me move through being afraid and being uncomfortable. I'm at Fort Zachary Taylor in the learning process. And, you know, with the thought that that might, might help you if you're trying to tackle something new. Um, what, what really has helped me is getting out and going for a walk or going for a bike ride. Um, or like a lot of the time I'll go to Besame Mucho because that store is filled with things that people have been, you know, a vision that they held in their mind artistically that they had to work through in order for it to, to manifest into matter. Um, art galleries, like the artist trying to paint something, um, or I'll call a friend who's an artist, or I'll call a friend that, <clears throat> that is working on something themselves, and they will share with me how normal it is to feel like that. And, that, and so then I'm, I'm faced with the choice, like I can be uncomfortable and not do it. And just move, you know, move away from that. Or I can become friends with the discomfort. Kind of move through it knowing that this is just, I'm just passing through this feeling. This feeling is not afraid. It, or this feeling is... This feeling is not threatening me. I'm not going to die <laughs> at, at its core. So really working with the thoughts around like around the judgments that I may hold around being uncomfortable. So instead of running away from the feeling of discomfort, actually sitting with it, just sitting with it, working with it. And some of the things, I think I already said this, but some of the things that help me do that are getting outside, movement, dance, swimming, walking, seeing people, just getting out of my head, just getting out of my head. And it's all grist for the mill. I think it's kind of interesting that it ties in with the dress, right? That the thing that I've fallen in love with most, this dress that I love, is because it's not perfect. It does not actually, it did not actually meet my expectations. And nor does anything that we try doing artistically or in life. But that's not the point. The point isn't for it to meet our expectations. Once, once getting through that, it's like allowing it to delight and surprise us in ways that we didn't expect. Right. I just had to get off the bike and show you guys this. This is amazing. I had no idea that this is what we were going to do. We're going to bike through the pines, you guys. By itself with nobody on it. Fort Zach at sunset. So here's a Chrissy public service announcement. When you're in Key West and you're riding and it's starting to get dark, turn on your light. I'm gonna adjust, <laughs> I'm gonna adjust the bike so that my back tail light and my front light are on. That way we're practicing safety first. See that?
Thank you, Key West, for being so awesome. And thanks, you guys, for watching. I love you. Ha! Ah. Hi, guys. It's come to my attention through one of my friends, not through an, a comment below, that in one of my videos, episode one, I talked about going into Bessemer, but then I didn't show you Bessemer. But again, this is all about having some courage up to, to say, hey, can me and my 22 friends come in here? I don't know. I'll pair some dogs. Hi. Hey, how are you? Good, how are you? Great. See those dogs, you guys? 